Hello there, class. This is Professor Olson. I'm going to make you a, a video here. It's going to be about 10, 12 minutes, so just settle in for a second. Um, and uh, this is going to be a video that you're going to need uh, to, to watch. Uh, you're going to use some of this information in the course requirements quiz later on, so I'm not wasting your time here. Um, welcome to spring 2020. I can't believe it's 2020. Sounds like something from a uh, sci-fi movie, but uh, welcome to spring 2020. Um, I'm going to give you a little background on myself and some tips about how to do well and some instructions. Um, so I'm Professor Olson. I've been teaching for 28 years. Um, grew up in Davis. Um, I uh, went to UC Davis, then went to Scotland, to the University of Edinburgh. Um, have different master's degrees in different fields. Sociology is my main field, though. Um, I love teaching. I taught, um, started teaching junior high, which was challenging to say the least um, it, and then uh, I coached swimming for a long time all age groups um, taught senior citizens little kids um, you name it uh, I've been a teacher my whole life um, come from a family of teachers um, my family split up when I was young my parents they could never do this now CPS would would find track them down but uh, my parents left us kids um, when I was young they were both professors, um, and uh, when I was 13, I went and lived with other families in Davis. And um, so, but I come from a, a family of, of teachers and, and professors um, and um, have a keen interest in sociology. Um, I hope you enjoy this class because uh, I hope to present sociology in a different way, uh, more of a science and less of politics. Uh, I don't believe in teaching my politics to you guys. Um, so I hope you appreciate that. Um, sociology is a science, and um, if a teacher gets up there and just grinds their own political acts um, with their class to try to convince them that of some politics, that's not doing justice to, to our subject matter. Um, so I will be as apolitical as I possibly can. I will tell you what I am, though I think it's important to know that um, so that you can understand biases of your teachers. Always figure that out. No matter if, even if it's math, you should know that. Um, I'm independent. I go uh, issue by issue. Um, I have not made up my mind about some issues, and some issues I'm left leaning, and some issues I'm right leaning. So um, it's uh, I'm not on one team or another. So I go issue by issue. Um, so hopefully you'll enjoy that I teach the science of sociology here so that you have skills to do something with um, later on. That's my goal is uh, to help you guys learn sociology so that you can do better in your other academic classes later on. We do have deadlines for assignments. They're really flexible, but understand that you have to get your assignments in on time. I'm a super duper nice guy. I'm always here to help. I will bend over backwards to help you. Um, if you're struggling, whatever, come to my office hours or Skype me during my office hours. But I will not budge on deadlines. So uh, I'm telling you right now, don't email me or ask me, you know, I had an emergency here. Just plan on having an emergency before the deadline is due. Um, so that way you get your, your work done early. Um, the emergency last minute Wi-Fi issues, I got the date wrong, won't work with me. Um, we have a class that needs to progress. I'm not gonna hold up the class for certain people. I can't open up assignments and quizzes for individuals on Canvas. Um, and so just don't do it, okay? That's the one thing that you're gonna think he's a jerk. If you blow it, then all of a sudden I'm gonna be a jerk, but that's not really what's going on. <laughs> um, use your calendar, deadlines are listed on the syllabus. Late work is not accepted, even for mistaken technical issues. Get your work done early, plan for an emergency. Use terms and concepts. Watch my video on terms and concepts from the class. I'm very keen on having you guys integrate and synthesize terms and concepts that you learn in class with your writing. Um, the get tutoring if you're not a good writer. Um, I uh, I highly recommend doing that. I will refer all you guys to tutoring so that you guys can get tutoring. I've had 7,500 people go through this course and completed this course, um, so it's very very doable. Um, uh, it's very I'm very thorough with directions, so follow them. I do that for a reason. Um, so it's very clear, very laid out. If you do your reading and if you check out, um, you know, what I'm telling you and, and take your time and watch the videos, you'll actually spend more time if you rush through stuff than you will if you just click through the pages one, of a one at a time. 
I have instructions listed for everything. So look at them before you email me. Please do not email me with stuff that's in the um, syllabus or information on Canvas. Please look first before emailing me. It's wasting my time. You're being lazy by not looking for the information um, or rushing through stuff and not getting the information. And now I have to take a, my time to help you out. A boss wouldn't like that. So I'm telling you guys, don't do that with me. But, 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 if there's something that you just can't find, go ahead and email me. And even if it is somewhere hidden somewhere, I will, I won't be mean to you, but, but, uh, yeah. Okay. So just do your, do your due diligence before emailing me. Um, I have my office hours. They're in line, I, online also as in, per, and in person. I love meeting with people in person. Sometimes I sit in my office hours and nobody stops by. They're dedicated for you. I'm not going to be working on something else. So come in. You're not bugging me. I absolutely love to meet my students. I teach a lot online because it seems students want more online than face to face. And I miss the face to face. So I enjoy seeing people in person and meeting you and hearing your stories and letting me help you. Um, I'm, I'm totally here for that. Phone calls are not the best. Okay, email me. Um, you can use the online discussion form to interact with each other. Um, I have an assignment to make sure that you do that. Um, my office hours are listed on the syllabus. Um, so check that out and please take advantage of them. I, I love it. So, okay, so to do that. Um, this is a non traditional class. We, we, you probably have heard already, use a video game. Um, to learn and it's been really super successful. Now, there are some people that don't like to learn this way and, and for whatever reason, that's fine. Um, you're playing and, and not, you're not at task, you're actually playing and should be having fun to learn. Now, if you're just like, I can't stand that idea. Um, my kids play uh, Grand Theft Auto with some horrible video game. Um, you, this might not be your class, but if you're of the 7,500 that have taken the class and just have learned and done a lot better in terms of their writing and their uh, final and their quizzes and all, because of the video game, right on. Um, it's not a gamer's game. It's easy to learn, but you must spend a little bit of time learning how to play. I recommend playing it two to three times because um, then you'll ace everything and you do really well at the writing. Um, you can rush through it as if you can rush through everything else, but I recommend taking some of your time. The game is centered around sociology and course content, okay, not the gameplay. Although the gameplay is kind of fun, but it, it's really so, um, centered around sociology and course content. Um, there's algorithms written in the game, so if you're getting questions wrong and content wrong, you're not going to be able to battle as well and do as well in there. There's hidden things. People play to, to see hidden things every now and again. Help videos are in the game. They're um, on your USB drive, so watch those. How to battle, how to save, how to heal yourself. Watch those. They really will save you a ton of time and frustration, okay? Um, some people just try to play, like they're just assembling their uh, IKEA furniture at home without reading the directions. You're going to spend more time with the furniture once you made a mistake than if you just read the directions from the beginning, okay? So help videos are in the game. Um, gamification is a wonderful concept. You're, it's it's quantifiable, it's scientific, your neural pathways are more open when you're in play mode and enjoyment mode rather than at task. When people are at task, their synapses are not as quickly firing and parts of the brain aren't as stimulated as, are, as they are when you're in play mode. So this is why I do this. It's hugely successful for people to learn. They remember the content years later and I have them emailing me and stuff. It's really, really cool. Um, my class is tech heavy. If you're like a, a person that just is, we call those a Luddites. There's a word for people that don't like technology. They're called a Luddite. That's a real word. If you are a Luddite, now's your chance to not run from technology anymore. I, I In the beginning, I had people say, oh, I like books and I don't like to read PDF documents and electronic documents. Why is the textbook in a document? This is like five years ago when we were doing this. And now I don't get those much anymore. But here's the deal about it. If you go to work, they're not going to hand you a book, okay, with paper they're gonna hand you electronic documents, okay? So that is the world we're living in. So um, get used to it, don't run from it. I'm here to help you. So if you're not a tech person, let this be the class that you transition from and don't run from technology. Complete the first assignment by the due date or you will be dropped. This is how I, I take role. There's a mandate from the state that I need to have an artifact of um, of, of, of participation in class. And so I take the uh, the first assignment, which is the syllabus quiz. You need to take that by the due date. I believe it's January 25th, but double check that. Um, you need to take the assignment by the due date or I will drop you. And then you'll email me and say, why did you drop me? And I'll say, you didn't take the syllabus quiz, all right? And then maybe you won't be able to get back in. So take the syllabus quiz. You can take it five times. Um, so you should get 100% on that. 
make friends in the class. I highly recommend making a study buddy or a play buddy, um, a playmate. Um, makes you know, go and make friends where you can just go meet at the library. Exchange emails. Don't ex exchange um, telephone numbers. Um, on don't post your telephone number on the uh, discussion post. Exchange emails. It's much much better. Know your due dates. Know the class ending date. Um, that that's just on you. They're all posted everywhere. Um, this is uh, requires some individual agency for you. This is not uh, this is college. It's not K through 12. So uh, you need to, to just do your part. And I'm really not asking a ton. All right, just follow the due dates and do your work. Do a little bit each week. It's much much better. I, I highly recommend reading the chapter first. Really reading the chapter. It's actually a good idea. You'll write a lot better if you do that. You'll go through the quest better. Play the quest, take the quiz, and then write your log. So it's read the chapter, play the quest, take the quiz, and then write your log. That's the way to progress. People get A's a ton of, even if you're not that great of a writer, you still have more to pull from if you're reading the chapter and going through that progression. It's much, much better. If you skip modules, you're going to be locked out. So you cannot do that. Don't skip the modules. Go one at a time. And don't email me and say you can't get into this module, that module, because you're skipping around and you're just outing yourself as being somebody who's not just following the directions and taking your time. Have fun. Don't bring negative attitudes. Um, this is an awesome, awesome class. Some people are like, what the heck, a video game? And then they kind of struggle with it at first. And then at the end, they're like, ah, OK, all right. It's a very stable game. Um, follow the directions. Load it onto your hard drive, because sometimes people lose the USB drive. Um, I highly recommend do that, uh, doing that. Um, but yeah, that's it. And um, I, again, guys, come and get help from me or the tutors in the library. There's gamers, the um, people that have taken my class that know how to play the game that are in the libraries on the East Campus and the West Campus, and they know the game and they're happy to help. So go get help from them. Use your buddies to get help. Use the forum online to get help. Come visit me during office hours. Don't wait to get stuff done. Write your logs slowly and effectively and don't rush through them. Or you won't get good grades. The big difference between A's and B's and C's and D's and F's in my class is the writing of the logs. Okay, since everything is open book and open note, you do guys do really well on the quizzes and the game and and and, and it's the writing that is the big kicker. Okay, um, and technology, learning how to save as a PDF or taking a screenshot, but all those directions are in there and I'm here to help during office hours. So come by and visit me, okay? Nice to meet you guys and uh, have fun. And good luck and learn a lot of sociology. You'll be able to use it for every other class you ever take. And I mean that. I, every a class has sociology in it. Okay? And enjoy my live lectures. They're, they were taped a couple years ago, um, but they're still really, really uh, pertinent to the course and will help you during the game as well. All right. Bye.